Hello and welcome to Woods and Water Outdoors. I'm Patrick Corcoran. Uh, today we're going to tie for you um, uh, what I consider to be my stick bait uh, as far as hand tied jigs go. Um, it's uh, something that has no chenille. It's going to be a mix of materials. We're going to use both calf tail and uh, feathers in this. Um, I guess it would resemble a preacher jig. Um, but this was my answer a long time ago. Guys were catching fish on a dock I was fishing, and friends of mine, they were using flukes, um, you know, and that, that long, slender body that a fluke presents. Um, and so uh, if you know, if you know me well enough, I, I'm not buying plastic. And so I uh, had come up with something, and... Uh, also call it my minnow style jig, um, but uh, it's something that gets a, a long slender profile um, and uh, it takes a little time to tie because uh, there's several different tie-ins here. But um, so we'll get started here in the vise. I have a uh, 1 16th ounce chub head. I like the, the lower profile head for uh, this particular die. Uh, you could use round heads or anything you want, doesn't really matter. Um, this is just kind of my preference in uh, this style of jig. So the first thing that we're gonna put in um, to this, and I think you could use craft fur if you want to, um, but any type of hair that has a little bit of length uh, but I'm using the, my kip tail, um, white kip tail. I'm using the longer portions of it. Uh, if you get a good kip tail, you'll have some hairs that are a little longer, and I didn't quite cut enough of this. What I'm trying to do here is create a little body, um, develop a little bit of uh, thickness to the jig. Uh, originally, when I first started making these, all I did was feathers, and I used uh, some other material, um, some yarn that I'd put on the hook first to kind of build up a little bit of a body. Uh, but I found that to be unnecessary. Not that it uh, doesn't work, because it did. Oops. I pulled that right out. So we'll start that over. Trying to get it around the hook a little more. Pulled it out. That looks pretty good. I don't get too worried about how pretty it looks. Uh, more worried about whether or not we're going to catch some fish. All right, so there it gives a little bit of uh, bulkiness to the main part of the body. Um, next, we're going to put in. Our chartreuse crystal flash. And usually I have all this material cut, and I did, and I guess I knocked it off my table. And so we won't put this on top as the jig sits. And I'm gonna be pretty uh, generous with this stuff. I'm using about four or five strands and then doubling it over. And cutting off whatever I got long. So then next we're gonna put in, I'm using radiation as far as the chartreuse feather color goes. Um, and one of the things that we kind of want to do is we want to tie this in on the top quarter of the shank. Uh, we're actually going to let that feather sit 
sideways like that as opposed to flat on top. And we're gonna put two of those in, one on each side. Now if it does get a little bit on top, that's okay, or you may want it on top. Okay, and so now we have those two tied in. And you can see how you have the kip tail in the center. Okay. And then in the bottom or the belly, I'm going to use uh, two longer, I guess, V cuts, if that's what you want to call them, um, that I'm going to put in in the belly of the jig. Okay, and now that's going to give us our little two-tone look to this jig. All right, and then the final thing, because if you see these plastics, these two-tone plastics, that belly is a real nice pearl white. So we're going to add quite a bit of pearl flashaboo into that bottom. Now, just a couple strands. There's probably seven or eight. Um, that are there. Okay, and so um, this jig would be, I guess a lot of folks might call this refrigerator white, or uh, I always thought it was funny, refrigerator white, but it's kind of a lemon and white jig. Um, but that is our We finish it up, tie that up. Uh, thread, I'm using uh, 140 red. You can, uh, you know, you can match your thread here with your head color. Uh, typically, I like to, if I'm going to match my thread, I'm going to match it with the uh, top feather color. And so, if I'm using blue and white, uh, which I really like to do. Um, then I'm going to uh, use a blue thread. Um, sometimes on this, I'll use chartreuse thread. Uh, just wanted there to be a little variation in this jig. Now, as far as, um, you know, I usually, you know, everybody has their own opinion on what to um, use to glue this in, but you need a deep penetrating um, glue or head cement uh, for these style of jigs in my opinion. Something that'll really soak into that thread uh, and not let it uh, unspool on you. Alright, so there's our version. Um, minnow jig, uh, preacher style, whatever floats your boat as far as you want to call it. Uh, but uh, I'm tying it in this color because this is what I'm going to try to use uh, here on a local lake. Um, chartreuse and white has been a, a decent color. So tell us what you think about it. Any questions, uh, shoot us a message and, and we'll get them answered for you. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.